What is going on guys, Sumi here with ThoughtCast and today I'm gonna to be talking about comparing your ex to your current partner. Now, a lot of people do this, right? And I'm guilty of this in certain situations too because when I got out of my breakups, the first thing that I did when I started talking to a new girl is compare her to my ex because what we're doing is we're psychologically molded to the individual that we knew. This is very normal, but in reality, it's very, very toxic and it's unhealthy because you don't wanna place the past trauma of a relationship onto somebody new and you don't wanna judge somebody new based off the past. So what's very easy to do is when we first Start talking to someone we start thinking about how they match up with our ex from every single aspect financially emotionally mentally physically all the above this is very destructive because it's not going to allow you to cultivate a new partnership with that individual and really understand that individual for who they are now we even do this with our professional careers as well we compare our old job to our new job we compare our old house to our new house this is what human beings do human beings compare whether you have parents that compare you to other people, whether you have children that compare you to other parents, whether you have partners that compare you to other individuals, being compared to someone is not ever fun. It's not something that you wanna find yourself in. If you're winning on it, it's good, but typically when someone is comparing, they're analyzing the pros and cons. There's areas where you're not necessarily excelling. And so comparison is one of the biggest analytical tools that human beings have, but at the same time, it can hold us back when it comes to our relationships because what we don't do when we compare people is we don't understand that this is a new person. This is a new entity. This is not an individual that is determined by the past experiences. This person is not worse, this person not better. We are all equal in the eyes of the world. But at the end of the day, when it comes to relationships, he makes more money, he is taller, she has a better body, you know, he's better in bed, whatever it might be. That's a very dangerous road to walk on. And so comparison really holds us back from fostering those strong intimate connections because it holds us back from fostering those powerful connections that we need from someone from scratch. You're not able to create something new. You're judging it based on the past. So let's talk about how we can stop comparing people to other people. The first thing to do is when you're going through a breakup, the first thing you need to understand is that you must heal. You cannot go into the dating market and expect instant success and everyone to love you and you to love everybody because that's not typically what happens. Usually when you get through a breakup, you need to go through the healing process because that will alleviate probably 90% of the comparisons because when you constantly are thinking about this other person, when you're fixated and obsessed on what that relationship was and the traumas in the past and in general, you're going to naturally compare. It's almost impossible to separate the comparisons from what you're doing now from what you were doing before. So the second part of this whole thing is you must fully understand and solidify the idea that people are all different. This is a very simple concept, but it's very complicated for a lot of individuals. A lot of us go into relationships trying to get something, trying to see what this person can offer us in comparison to the last person. And I'll tell you one thing, men typically don't want to go down in attractiveness. Women typically don't want to go down in resources. When a woman dates a new person, she wants to date someone that is financially better, that is more resource connected, that has more respect, authority, and dictation on their life in general. When men date a new woman, they typically don't want to go down in the attractiveness, the emotional connection, the intimacy, the nurturing capabilities of this individual. So it's very different for men and women because men and women choose differently when it comes to you know their biological selection, their partnership. So what you must understand as a man don't necessarily look for how attractive this woman is, how good she might be in bed, or how nurturing she is. I'm not saying that these are factors that you shouldn't take into consideration, but what I'm saying is don't compare these to your ex. Try to understand that with new people comes new benefits, new possibilities, and new problems as well. With women, right, if you're a girl, right, and you're looking to date men, the easiest thing to do is to say who's making more money, who's taller, who has more cars, who has a better house, so on and so forth. And I'm not saying that all women think like this, but typically this is the go-to for a lot of girls. I've upgraded in, in my partner because he's making more, he's doing more, he's this, that, and the third. That is a very wrong mindset to be in. If you're a woman and you're looking to date someone, date them for the right reasons, right? Don't date them because you want someone to pay for your nails, you want someone to take you out, you want someone to split the bills, whatever it might be. Don't date them for that, right? Date them for the emotional stability first. If they're a better fit for you in the relationship as a whole, they're gonna be better for you in the long run because you're gonna be able to function as a higher human being once you have the intimacy built out. The third thing when it comes to comparison is be aware of your triggers, right? There's a lot of triggers that cause us to compare people. A lot of it has to do with family and friends, right? A lot of family and friends will judge you very, very objectively on the new partner that you have in your life. Oh, Sarah was an upgrade. Oh, Max was an upgrade from, you know, whatever it might be. Oh, he's he's worse than your ex. People will do these things. So these are a very big trigger point. And, you know, all in all, what I can tell you to do is to focus on yourself and focus on the relationship more than anything else. Do not try to fixate on what this relationship can bring you and don't fixate on the idea of comparing them to anybody else because you are the one that you need to focus on and the partnership in itself is more important than comparing anything else outside of the spectrum.